Valentine's is right around the corner. And while I don't really go all out for Valentine's Day, I do like to put out a few decor pieces. One caveat, they need to be charming, not cheesy. So today I thought we would look at how we can turn some thrift store items that would be suitable for Valentine's, but really you can leave these out all year long. For this first DIY, I have found these adorable cast iron heart pans and decided to use some stencils to give these a bit of a decorative touch. And as I cut away this one, at the same time, I'm going to take the time to cut away the second strip because we're going to use this one in a DIY later on. Taking the stencil, arrange it in a spot that you think will look really nice, and then we're going to go in with a bit of Art Minds white chalk paint. And using a small stencil brush, you're just going to want to apply that white chalk paint, but you're going for a rustic, more distressed look. The goal is not perfection here. The goal is to get on the paint, but have it look slightly worn. Now I had found two cast iron heart pans, so I went in with a similar stencil, just in a different shape, but it had the same similar flower types. And I cut that out as well, and then arranged that onto the cast iron pan so that it matched the other heart and also because it just looked nice in that place and again just went in with a little bit of Art Minds chalk paint and painted that on with a distressed look. I hot glued on a couple of heart embellishments that I had in my stash and there you go the finished look. For this next DIY, I found this gold letter L at the thrift store, and I mean, it's it's the letter L, it love, it love. So I started by just sanding it down a bit because the paint was sort of chipped in places and not quite that smooth, and then just wiped it down with a wet cloth to get all of the dust away and just to wipe off anything that might have been on it from before. Now I wanted to get rid of the gold and give this a bit of a farmhousey look, and I wanted to start by giving it a faux wood appearance. So to do this, just paint the object with white and then go in with a bit of Art Minds antiquing wax and layer this on bit by bit, working between the white paint and the antiquing wax, smudging it and blending it, letting it dry a little bit in between brush strokes and just really giving it a faux wood look with the antiquing wax being the grain. And although I personally think this looks really good, and like faux wood, don't worry about it being too perfect because we're going to go in with a bit of Art Minds white chalk paint and paint over that faux wood look and giving it a again a distressed look but still allowing some of that faux wood to pop through. And I did this on the sides as well as the front but I focused most of the paint on the front center part allowing the edges and the ends to be more distressed. And I did this because this is where we're going to take that stencil we cut out earlier and add that to the front of the letter L. And we're going to go in with a little bit of Folk Art Sunset Rose and that small stippling brush again and we're just going to distress paint on this stencil. Again, we're not going for perfection. We want this to look like it's been distressed and worn much like the rest of the letter L. And here it is all finished. Tell me, do you love it as much as I do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs to sun, we don't care about the others For this next thrifted Valentine DIY, I found this grapevine double heart wreath a couple of thrift store shops ago and knew it would be perfect for Valentine's, so I bought it, brought it home, whipped out my toothbrush, well, okay, not my toothbrush, a toothbrush, that would be gross, and cleaned off the wreath form. I found this wreath form to be a bit dark in color, so if you want to lighten up your grapevine wreath form, just mix some water with some chocolate 
paint so that you make a really runny mixture. Paint that on with a paintbrush and then go in with a dry fluffy brush and just wipe any of the excess away, getting it into all the crevices and you end up with this really nice lightened look. I wanted to keep this wreath look very simple so I just went in with some of Dollar Tree's lavender picks, cut them down with my wire clippers and then slid the stems in between the spaces of the grapevine wreath form. I did a little bit on the bottom left hand side and then a bit on the top right hand side and then to give it a finishing touch and help keep everything in place I just wrapped some simple twine around and around the stems until that was completely covered and that's all it took to upgrade this simple and inexpensive thrift store find. You're my heart's desire just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay. On my last thrift store excursion, I found this really simple heart-shaped basket. Much like the wreath form, I was not a fan of the color. This just screamed 1990s to me. So I went in with a bit of Art Minds antiquing wax and applied this with just an everyday paintbrush, really working into those grooves though, making sure that all the wicker was covered, and then I let this dry overnight. I'm not really planning on using this basket for anything to store, so I decided to give it a little bit of a valentine touch. To do this I decided to use a few florals that I had hanging around my craft stash. It was a couple of simple pink roses and a couple of clumps of pink light pink hydrangea and I clipped these down so that they would lay perfectly flat and then using a bit of hot glue I adhered each of the blooms to the side to the one side of of the heart. Simple changes that make a world of difference. Single day, you set my world on fire. You set my world. This last thrifted Valentine DIY is another basket idea. Now this basket that I found at the thrift store was red and I wanted to tame that down a bit. So I'm going to go in with a bit of Art Minds white chalk paint and just give the entire basket a complete painting overhaul. Painting it first with the paintbrush and then going in with a fluffier brush to kind of work in that paint so that it's actually in the crevices and a little less at the top. I did this to the entire basket, including the sides, and then let it dry overnight. Unlike the last basket, this basket is going to be perfect for displaying a few festive touches. You really don't need to spend any money to do this. I just went around the house and picked out a few supplies that I thought would look really pretty displayed in the basket. So I have my green glass vase. I love green glass, collect it, and I thought it would be perfect to hold some fresh flowers in. I then added a black pedestal candle stand that I got from the Dollar Tree and one of my battery operated candles. I wish I could tell you where I got these candles from. I can't find them anymore. I also had some milk glass that I added. It had a really nice pretty scalloped edge to it. And to this I just added a little fabric heart that I'd made using old pajamas and a red placemat that I just cut out into a heart shape and then glued together with some fabric glue, stuffed it with a little bit of pillow stuffing, and there you go. To finish everything off, I just threw in a couple of wicker balls that I had purchased from the dollar store, and there you go, a completed Valentine tabletop decor piece. Charming, not cheesy. I don't know what I do without you. Well, that's it for today's Valentine DIY. If you enjoyed those, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you hit the notification bell, it'll let you know the next time I upload. Oh, and you might enjoy these.